welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. It's day two. Now, Microsoft has a really big presence at this summit. And one of them is Ashish Kapoor, who's the principal research manager at Microsoft headquarters just outside Seattle. Hello. Hello. So tell me, why is Microsoft playing such a big role here this week? Yeah. So, you know, one of the core missions of Microsoft is to enable every individual and organization on planet to achieve more. And if we believe that AI is the next, you know, fire or electricity or the propelling force that will push individuals and organizations to achieve more, then, you know, it's very important for us to not only share our knowledge and technology with the world, but also understand and also hear and listen to the people who are at the front lines of, uh, you know, fr fr front lines where they're trying to tackle these hard issues. That's really matters to you know most of the planet at, at microsoft we have we have very heavily invested in trying to understand problems that in, that affect society and individuals at a much deeper level so for instance there are initiatives in india africa and latin america that looks at various aspects of health education climate etc and a venue like this allows us to talk to people and hear you know their concerns as well as how we can help them more Except when this first summit occurred three years ago, um, I could have heard that same phrase from you. So what has advanced in, since it, on this third, th three years on? Yeah, so I mean definitely the pace of technology, especially in AI, I mean it's, ex it's increasing exponentially. We have achieved you know, very impressive things in the realm of algorithms, in the realm of you know, say for instance solving traditional gaming. Uh, you know, object detection, computer vision, speech. Now it's really the time to see how it affects us in real world. And past three years has allowed us to understand those advances and really, you know, now, f now seek venues and places where we can really make a difference in real world. What are the barriers Microsoft's trying to overcome in terms of AI? So, you know, AI in general, has uh, so many different challenges that we need to overcome. I mean, if AI technologies are to interact with, with humans, they need to you know, understand the motivations, they need to be aligned with the values of humanity, for instance. Um, so those are very difficult problems just to quantify and start building algorithms around them. But specifically, you know, when we think about AI for good, one of the key challenges is the scarcity of data. You know, all the all the news and all the advances that we hear about are in things uh, which are, I would say, a little bit artificial in the sense that you, know, you need millions and millions of examples to show improvement over human performances. But when we go on the field, we don't have the luxury of, uh, uh, of having you know, millions or billions of examples. So the data scarcity is a huge issue. While you know, a lot of uh, investment has gone into building compute and GPUs and TPUs and all kinds of fancy hardware. But if you don't have enough data, not, nothing of that is going to be useful. So consequently, in, a, you know, in, in the context of AI for good, the scarcity of data is a big problem that we are trying to actively address. When we talk of AI for good as well, one of the great fears about AI is that, and you're at Microsoft so you can answer this, is that jobs will go. What's your feelings about that? You know, as I said, like the mission really is to empower individual and organizations to achieve more. Um, you know, one is, as an AI researcher, my personal belief is that um, we are going to help people achieve more, not necessarily remove people from the equation, right? So, uh, so for instance, you know, if you think about, uh, you know, vehicles, you know, it allows us to go further distance, right? It's not that, you know, we have completely ruled out the, the role of how humans play into transportation. So same thing, you know, AI as a technology is a vehicle for us to achieve more. So while there are genuine concerns in some sectors about, um, you know, how it might adversely affect, um, affect jobs, but the perspective, especially from the AI from the, for, for good, is the whole idea of how do you empower other people to build and do greater things. At the end of this week, what would you like to have been achieved? So at the end of this week, you know, personally as an as a AI researcher, I hope 
to gain a deeper understanding into various problems, uh, problem spaces, uh, in speci especially in, in climate, health, and education sector. Because that's where I feel that we can, we can have a big impact uh, that will affect, positively affect uh, the, uh, you know, the societies. Okay, well that's Ashish Kapoor from Microsoft headquarters over in Seattle. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.